Hello friends, welcome to IQ Pop. As you know that for in formal languages, three things are very important. One is alphabets, another is grammar or G, another is set of strings and these strings are usually generated by this grammar okay now this relation and uh, this terminal logic are quite similar with english language so as you know that in english language if we compare hmm, english language and formal language Now we can see that alphabets. In English also there is alphabets. Now here in formal language the alphabet may be anything. It may be binary symbols. It may be small a to small z. It may be anything. It may be all characters available in the on your laptop or desktop keyboards. In English, the alphabets are small a to small z and capital A to capital Z. Now, both the cases when we you know writes a sequence of characters together we call them as string right <coughs> now say here in formal languages we write a a b b so this will be called as string here if we write cat in english it is called a string but uh, so both the cases it is string another is there that is word right but when the grammar comes in the picture in both the cases if we compare what happens in english grammars generate sentences right sentences but here grammar generates what here it generates strings right so at this point we have to map the thing that in english what we call as sentence here in formal language we call it as string because strings are generated by grammars right so this sentence and this word are going to be equivalent in case of formal language and automata. Now if you uh, think about a grammar here in formal language and automata, say we want to generate or you have a language which have in this form a to the power n, b to the power n such that n is greater than 0 that means what it can generate any string where n number of a's followed by n number of b's <coughs> right so here 3 number of a's followed by 3 number of b's so so here what is alphabet alphabet is a and b 
this is the language and what is the grammar here so here grammar rules are we write by r is s to s is starting symbol a b and s to a s b so when you expand we start with this right s to a s b now this s can be replaced by this rule again a s b and so on or i can terminate it by this rule a b so a a b b b is generated so we will discuss about this grammars in detail later thank you for watching please subscribe my channel